scientists just found the most massive stellar black hole ever found in our galaxy, 33 times more massive than our sun. What's more exciting is that the black hole is one of the nearest to us, and it's apparently been created by a type of star that shouldn't form black holes. This is a game changer. But let's quickly cover the basics for any newcomers to our channel. A black hole is a region in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. They can form in a few ways, but the most common is the collapse of a massive star. When a star runs out of nuclear fuel, it can no longer support its weight. So the core collapses, and if the star is massive enough, it can form a black hole. In other words, a black hole is a sort of stellar corpse. But there are different types of black holes. First, we have stellar black holes, which form from the collapse of individual stars and can be between five to several tens of masses of the sun. Then, there are supermassive black holes, which are millions or even billions of times heavier than the sun and usually sit at the center of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. And then there's a third, more mysterious type called intermediate black holes. These are harder to find and seem to be in between stellar and supermassive in size. Our understanding of them is still evolving. The discovery we're discussing today involves a stellar black hole known as Gaia BH3. Astronomers found it using data from the European Space Agency's Gaia mission a space observatory whose mission is to create the most accurate and comprehensive map of the stars in our galaxy. Located in the constellation Aquila, Gaia BH3 was spotted due to the unusual motion of a star orbiting around it. This star, perturbed by the invisible yet massive neighbor, clued astronomers into the presence of this black hole. This discovery challenges the existing models of how black holes form particularly from stars with minimal heavy elements. Published ahead of a full data release to spark immediate further research, this finding opens new doors for astronomers to explore the formation and growth of such massive black holes in environments previously considered unlikely to produce them. Typically, the more massive a star, the more likely it is to end its life as a black hole. However, Gaia BH3 suggests that stars with fewer heavy elements might also collapse into exceptionally massive black holes, a scenario previously underestimated. More exciting is the fact that the black hole is extremely close to us at a mere 2,000 light years away from us, making it the second closest known black hole to Earth. Astronomers spotted Gaia BH3 while reviewing Gaia observations in preparation for an upcoming data release. Equipped with some of the most sensitive detectors ever sent into space, Gaia observes the sky, measuring positions, distances, and movements of stars with unprecedented precision. These measurements can tell us a lot, not just about the stars themselves, but also about the objects they interact with, including those we can't see directly. When a star orbits something invisible, with gravitational effects indicating a mass that's not visible, Astronomers get a hint that a black hole might be present. That's exactly what happened with the discovery of Gaia BH3. Also, the Gaia team confirmed their findings using data collected with the ground-based observatories and, in particular, with the Ultraviolet and Visual Shell Spectrograph UVES, instrument at ESO's Very Large Telescope VLT, in the Atacama Desert in Chile. These showed key properties of the companion star, which together with the data from Gaia, helped astronomers to precisely measure the mass of BH3. Similarly, astronomers have found huge black holes outside our galaxy using another method of detection and proposed that maybe stars with very few elements heavier than hydrogen and helium can collapse to form black holes. It is supposed that the so-called metal-poor stars lost less mass over their lives leaving more behind for them when they die to produce high-mass black holes. But there was no evidence directly linking metal-poor stars to high-mass black holes until now. The similar pair of stars together would therefore imply that the star has a companion with key evidence bearing on that particular star, which collapsed and formed this incredible black hole. Stars and pairs tend to have similar compositions, meaning that the partner of BH3 holds important clues about the star that collapsed to form this incredible black hole. 
The UVES data pointed out that the companion is a very metal poor star. This tells us that the star that collapsed to form BH3 was also a metal poor star, just as theoretical models predicted. This revelation prompts a reevaluation of existing stellar models and opens up exciting possibilities for future research. Astronomers are now keenly interested in understanding how common these heavyweight black holes might be in our galaxy and what their discovery tells us about the early universe. With more data expected from Gaia and other astronomical missions, the future of black hole research looks bright, or should I say, intriguingly dark. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.